Hey guys, it's me. So, as part of my job here as being the Director of Youth and Family Ministries here at Zion St. John, one of the things I'll be doing is sending out video devotions. So this is basically a way for you, know, you and me and everyone to connect with each other here via the online web. So I'm going to start off by reading a passage from the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verses 19 through 20. Speaking to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, sing and make music from your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to the God our Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I picked this one because one of the things that resonates with it is the word thanks and thankfulness. So November is the month of Thanksgiving and what I think we should all do is just take a moment to ourselves and really just think about what you're thankful for. So take a moment to yourself and just think about the things that you're thankful for in life and I'll do the same. All right, so with that being said and done, I'm going to read another passage from a book, the book of Philippians chapter 4, verses 6, six to 7, and it goes something like this. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. Now, this is, I picked this one because this is a big, a big passage. Uh, first of all, the first line says, don't be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition and thanksgiving, present your requests to God. So if we, if, if we look at what's going on in our world this year, in 2020, as we're coming to a close in 2020, it's easy to look back and really just, dismiss 2020 as being maybe one of the worst the worst years in in history you know uh with everything going on you know you got covid the ongoing fight for social justice and social equalities you got all the wildfires and climate change you know the list goes on and and it's it's really scary and it's really easy to say that you know this has been one of the worst years ever uh but that's why i think that this uh uh, passage is so relevant and should be heard by everybody because Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to, 6 to 7 is basically telling us that whenever we feel anxious or uncertain that in those times we should turn to prayer and turn to towards you know making that connection with God and it's perfectly okay to to voice our concerns through prayer and knowing that, that through God's never-ending power and grace, He will always be there for us, right? And He's the one true constant and one true, you know, peaceful um, equivalent in, in everything that's going around, everything going on around us. You know, even when everything seems chaotic and all hope seems lost, you know, He is the one constant that remains so never underestimate the power of prayer you know that's prayer is something to me that's very important every morning i wake up and i i start my day by going to the foot of my bed and and taking a knee and just saying my prayers you know every morning every morning and knowing that you know there's that outlet that i can use to confess my concerns to god and and knowing that he will always provide me with an answer one way or another is huge and also you know just make just you know making that connection you know maybe not just voicing my concerns but also just to you know count my blessings so to speak it's huge to me and 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 in these times it's very important that we keep the faith and keep the hope and it's perfectly okay to pray, and 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 if if you if you learn nothing from this, it's it's basically me emphasizing the importance of prayer, and especially in this in these times, it's it's important that you stay hopeful and stay optimistic, and and one way you can do that 
is by just simple prayer. So as I leave you guys today, I'm going to leave you with a line that I, I, I tend to live my life by. And it's something that I want to share with you guys. It's, it's spread love and love will spread. And this is something that's super subtle and super, super easy, but it's very effective in its meaning. You know, um, spread love and love will spread. So until next time, love eternal.